Now, I did not realize this before I started editing the Hallelujah Scriptures at exactly how horrible of a translation they were. And I guess it be, we should begin with this is because what they did is they stole the 1998 ISR, the Institute for Scripture Research. It's called the Scriptures. And they stole that. And there, I have all the videos on the Messianic Hall of Shame org about all of this and you can see how they stole it and what they did but they not only stole the original work of the hallelujah scriptures but they stole all these other books jasher jubilees um everything that they stole all they did is they they reprinted themselves they changed some things out of them and then they they reprinted them out and at first, I wasn't too hard on the Hallelujah Scriptures. I, I thought it was just a really good translation. I, I didn't really look at the jots and tittles and the periods and this thing. But as you go through the Scriptures, there are thousands and thousands of illiteracies and errors. And it's not that they didn't try to fix anything because they didn't. But you will see in the Book of Enoch, because we just finished the Book of Enoch, in the middle of a sentence, they will have an exclamation point just out of nowhere it just it's random letters random jots random stuff they are so bad at producing scriptures and producing books because they are so lazy and what's crazy is they are the ones who say oh we have the best version of it out there there's no better version anything i would never spend a dime anywhere at any point anytime with the hallelujah scriptures they are not worth five cents they are not worth the postage to get this. Here's what we're going to be doing. Because we have been editing all of this and we're trying to put it back as the Hallelujah Scriptures has it. But the, as the Hallelujah Scriptures had it, has it is completely illiterate. And so what we're going to be doing is once we have this completely done, we're actually going to go through and start fixing this catastrophic bomb of Scriptures that they tried to pull out. And because they stole it, and because they have not put a dime of investment of work into actually correcting the misspellings and all of the horrible junk that they have in there, this is one example. We just got done finishing the book of Jasher yesterday. Extremely long. Over 153,000 words, and there are tremendous amounts of mistakes. This is just one of them, and this is why their books are not worth a dime. When we have finished up every single one of these... They will be ready that any book publisher anywhere can click file and print. So this will be available to everyone. And we're going to be fixing these horrific mistakes. Now, if you take a look at this, just yesterday, I, I, I keep smacking myself in the head. It sounds like this around here. Right? That's me smacking myself in the head every time that I see these errors with the grifters, the how you use scripture grifters. Now, take a look at this. This is from Jasher. And right here, we're actually talking about Yahuda. Right, um, and the sovereigns that came with Yah Yahub Yah Yashub saw at a distance the strength of Yahuda, son of Jacob, and what they had done to Yashub, and they were greatly afraid of Yahuda. Right, this whole story in this chapter that we're talking about here, and I and I could do bigger things to show you guys this, but let me just show you how iffy and kind of sketchy this value of scriptures is. Then they go to here, and they assembled near Yashub's army, seeing his confusion, and Yehuda. Look at this, this guy. They they put Yeh. Huda. They, they instead of Yahuda, which is right here, they put Yah Yehuda. This there's two of them in this sentence, and this is one of thousands and thousands and thousands of illiteracies that these people have the manuscripts of this, and over the years, the 13 years of them stealing people blind and ripping people off, the least they could have done was put out a good copy of all of this, and they can't do it. And so they went through this, and, and here's Yehuda again, right? Let's continue on what it says. Yehuda drew his sword and smote 42 men of the army of Yashub, and the whole and the whole of Yashub's army fled before Yehuda, and no man stood against it. And they left Yashub and fled from him, and Yashub was still face down on the ground. And then continuing on, look right here. It goes right back. Then they get the spelling right. But this is what they did, is 10... To 13 years ago, they stole every version of this. And instead of being good stewards of their stolen goods and redoing them and making them better, they left stuff like this. You would left it Yehuda. It was not talking about Yehuda. It's talking about Yahuda, right? The whole This whole chapter is about Yehuda. I just wanted to put this out to people, and hopefully you can stop spending your money 
with the Hallelujah Scriptures. Never, ever spend another dime. We will be done with this project, ya willing, inside of a couple months to where these manuscripts will actually be perfect for the first time. And we will put together Bible people who will put these books out that we will show you guys correct ways you guys can get them. So just hang on. Stop spending your money with people that don't give money to the orphans, widows, or lepers, right? We have done this, and I've shown you guys on the messianichallofshame.org that there are endless bank records that show them, and they're buying prostitutes, they're buying high-end produce, they're buying high-end organic food. This is a criminal enterprise that spends ten to $15,000 per month of stolen money that they get off the backs of donations. Now, let's do a final look at who these people are. Every last bit of the evidence and over 110 videos on the grifters of the Hallelujah Scriptures are at the Messianic Hall of Shame. Who are these people that have stolen the works of our Creator and for 13 years have tap danced on the backs of Yah's people? Well, this is it. Deborah Weiss or Deborah Wessel, a.k.a. Shalom. She goes by the name of Shalom and she's an antichrist. She is an, literally an antichrist venomous snake. Most evil woman, one of the most evil women I have ever encountered in my life. Completely ruthless, completely evil, and she will do absolutely anything at the expense of money and protecting her stolen goods. There's her cuck husband, right? The guy that sits there and has been for 13 years sucking down off the backs of the people of Yah as he protects their stolen investment. This guy, Robert Lou Griffith, he's in the United States of America, completely complicit with all of this, the president of the Hallelujah Scriptures. His name's all over the documents. He was sitting there attacking um, people that are homeless. He is lying. This guy is a filthy, filthy demon liar. Then you have this woman. Look at this bag of wind. This woman works at a university for special ed kids while her husband is special ed. Literally, she went and got her, her boyfriend an adulterous relationship. These, these supposed Torah keepers are in this adulterous relationship. This guy smuggles marijuana in the mail in the U.S. postal system. A couple of years ago, he pistol whipped a person, put them in the hospital. This guy is a monster, and this is the guy who's helping embezzle the money. This woman just took three of, uh, what, I think it was like three or four thousand dollars in the month of December, paid her own credit card bills. These people get all of their bills paid off of by the Hallelujah Scriptures. They are running a huge, huge scam. Now, evidence are all downloads right here. You guys want to go see the evidence? You guys want to see that I'm not making any of this up? That this stuff has been, this all this paperwork, these bank accounts, this is their bank accounts. It has been delivered to me by the hand of a messenger who, who knew I was investigating this, right? I was already investigating this before this huge truckload of paperwork ended up on my doorstep. And inside that, that paperwork, you're going to find their bank statements where they don't have orphans, widows, or lepers. I've gone over this at a nauseum, folks. The Hallelujah Scriptures is a completely criminal enterprise. And if you go at the messianichalofshame.org, it starts at the beginning, right? It starts right here. This is about six months ago that I began this investigation after these criminals went to YouTube and tried striking and destroying every channel that I had. It was amazing. We have hundreds and hundreds of takedowns from this fake company that says they give away free Bibles. There is no free Bibles on this place, folks. If you want a Bible, you can pay for a Bible. But everything that these people touch is a scam. It is a grip. These people are demons. They are doing this by the hand of Hasatan, and they are being exposed, which is why, if they were innocent, do you think Yah would allow me to destroy his little Bible company like this, if it was Yah's company? Guys, this is the hand of man that has poached the word of our creator and has attacked individuals, people, and have they're, they're ripping people off. Guys, lives have been damaged. People have been hurt. Right now, there's a little family in Arkansas that is homeless, that has no place to go because this criminal enterprise has come out and destroyed them. And they're still destroying people. We need to put an end to this, my friends. These people are evil. Have a good day.